Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and in today's video of Linux Basics, we will check out two important attributes that every file, folder or program in Linux has, that is user and group attribute. And also understand how to use them effectively. Alright, so let's begin. Now Linux, as you may know, is a multi-user system. That means that you can have multiple users, each having different level of access to the files, folders and program that are installed in the system. Now let's first understand what a user or group actually mean. Now a user, also called owner, is simply the name of the user account. So if I have a user account, XPS Tech, so XPS Tech is one user. Similarly, you can have multiple users. Next, a group is a method to organize users on the system. So for example, you can have students as one group in which you can put all the users who are students in a school. Similarly, you can also create a group called teachers in which you can put all the users who are teachers of the school in that group. So each group can have multiple users in them. Now by default, any user account that you create gets a default group which is the same as the username. Alright now with the basics out of the way, let's see how we can use them in real world and also check out various commands associated with them. Alright now I have divided the entire process in three steps. First is to create users and groups. The second step is to add users to groups. And the third step is setting up permissions by assigning groups to folders. All right, so now let's start with the first step. Now you can create a user in two ways. First is by using the GUI system setting app and adding a new user account. Second is via the command line. You can use the command sudo user add dash m and then the name of the user account that you want to create. But after creating the user account, you also need to set up a password. So you can do that by using the command sudo space passwd space the user account name and then give a brand new password to your newly created user account. Now to create a new group, you can use the group add command on terminal type in sudo space group add space the name of the group that you want to create. So in this case, let's say students and press enter. Now this will create a new group student. Let's do that for teachers group as well. Now the second step is to add users to the groups that you have created. Now to do that, we go into terminal and use the command user mod. So type in sudo space user mod dash a for addition space dash capital G for group and then give the name of the group. So let's say students and then the name of the user that you want to include in the group student. All right, now the third step and the final step is setting up permissions. Now, there are two ways to do that. First is by using the chown or chgroup command. And the second is by using the file access control list. Now we'll cover both of them. So let's start with the chown. Now to understand this, let's take up a scenario. Imagine there's a computer in a school that contains two folders. One is the assignment folder and the other is exam papers folder. Now we want to set up in a way so that all the students can access the assignments folder but cannot access the exam papers folder. Users who are in group teachers can access both exam papers as well as assignments folder. So the access for exam papers folder is exclusively for the teachers but assignments folder can be accessed by users of either groups, students or teachers. So this is the scenario. All right, so the first method that we'll use is by using the ch own and ch mod command. We can also use ch group instead of ch own. Both will give us the same results. But for now, let's go with ch own. So type in sudo space ch own space dash capital R for recursive. Then give a space and a colon and then the name of the group. So let's say we type in students here. Then give the space and the path to the assignments folder. Now what we have done here is by using the chown command, we have changed the group of the assignments folder to students. Now to give the read, write or execute permission, we can do that via the chmod command. So we need to type in chmod space capital R for recursive and then we can type in G for group plus RWX for read write execute then give a space and then path to the assignments folder. Now if we do ls-l 
on the assignments folder you can see here that the group has changed to students and the permission is read write and execute now instead of ch own command here we can also use ch group command to change group so this is the first method of doing it all right the second method is by using the file access control list now to use this we type in sudo space set facl that's file access control list space dash lowercase m for modification lowercase g for group colon the name of the group let's say teachers colon and then the permission that we want to give let's say read write and execute then give a space dash capital r for recursive then path to the exam papers folder now this will give us the same result that we achieved using the first method now to check the file access control list of a particular file or a directory use the get facl command and this will show you the complete file access control list all right now the last thing is to deny users of students group access to the exam papers folder now to do that we can again use the set facl command so type in set facl dash m then give a space lowercase g for group colon students colon again and then type in dash 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 three times so no read no write and no execute now then give a space dash capital r and then the path to the exam papers folder now press enter and that's all now any user who is a member of group student cannot access the exam paper folder now we can verify that by logging into an account which is in group students and as you can see he cannot access the folder exam papers all right so that was all for today thank you guys for watching this video i hope you like this video if you do kindly press the like button if you have any comment suggestion or feedback do type that in in the comment box thank you again for watching and i'll see you next time